What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. It's The Walking What's Dead. Up? What's up? What's up, Mikey? Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, yes. Look at the flowers, Mikey. Look at the flowers. There's some Easter eggs in there I saw, too, on some of the videos some uh, going eggs. around. Yeah, some pieces. Yeah, there was like a flower spray painted on the building in the background where yeah. Carol was walking. And They think yeah, they're uh, so clever, don't they? Yes, yes. I mean, the I think the viewers are much more clever than maybe the show, uh, the writers and the people that put these hints and these Easter eggs in there are. Yeah, um, there's a lot of smart people that break down every little piece of footage, every little scene, every little movement. You know, it's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, but uh, another good one. Um, I'm kind of upset that this we only have one more. Um, yeah. When technically we would have two. Because uh, the season finale is pushed back, but what are you going to do? That's life that we're uh, dealing with right now. So we got a bunch of questions for this episode. Um, so let's uh, want to get right into it. Yeah, screw it, do it. All right. So this question is from Jimmy uh, H from the Facebook group. He says, "What do you think of the new Balfa mask?" We're going right to the Balfa mask. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I um. Yeah, I thought it was pretty sick. I thought it was pretty sick. Yeah, I thought it was cool too. I thought it was cool that we obviously found out uh, who Beta was, and and um, for a moment he's smashing guitars like a rock star and um, kind of dealing with his past life. I think we kind of saw for a little bit him sitting and listening to the to the records, yeah, um, and having that moment with Alpha before he takes you know part of her face. So, so okay, so basically, you do think that he reached a turning point or he he reached another level i think he yeah i think i think he reached another level i think he i don't think it's like a good thing like he realized well, no, oh, no 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 yeah, it's not he didn't like turn a, he didn't turn a corner yeah. and all of a sudden now yeah, he's absolutely. gonna be a good guy no but i'm saying no, it's no, no, no. it's another level for him so he you know he he I just he re- made peace with her being dead now well i think he made peace with i think he made peace with who he was i think he I yeah. think he finally like killed the old him like his if if he hadn't already but I feel like maybe he yeah. he killed his old self, you know, he took a piece of his friend's face off and replaced mm. it with hers meaning like that's the next step for him and obviously now he's alpha, you know, and he's going to uh you know move forward with that. So yeah, no, I thought I thought it was cool. I thought I thought that was a whole cool, you know, the whole thing was cool. I mean, yeah. Do you think he went there on purpose or he just happened to find did he write that himself or he just found someone that wrote that? You know what I mean? Like it was a little Oh, the message um was Yeah, it? like the whole thing someone was there and had all his albums and whatever and his a poster maybe that, was, like, maybe that was I was thinking that was like maybe one of his lyrics or something. Was it one of his safe houses or something? Like I was just trying to figure out like why was all his shit there? It seemed like it was, it was a, a, lot it was of like a rock and roll bar or something. Yeah, and I was like, did he play there? Like, did he know this place? I mean, I don't know. know this... I just think that he was just like a big time star. country dude. Yeah. And why wouldn't his records be at um, this particular place? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's cool. I like the idea. It's like, you never know, uh, man. You never know these people that, you know, we idolize and we watch and follow and stuff. Like, you never know. They could be sociopaths. Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought you know, so I I thought that was cool, man. I thought it was um, how he carried around the head, and yeah, I mean, it was you know, it was perfectly in character for Beta, and uh, yeah. you know, now he's yeah. and now he's Alpha. Um, speaking of which, what'd you think about his? Um, all right, you know, look, we got other questions. I I just have questions for you. That's well, why. we can go we can go right into we can go into the other Beta question. That's technically not how we were gonna go in order, but I mean, it's also yeah, has man, it's relative no to this. Um, so. Uh, this is from Jesse uh, from the Facebook group. So we found out Beta was um, like uh, who Beta was. Um, did you? I really love the concert scene, like that scene where he was standing on the balcony and mm-hmm. his music was playing. He was he was gaining um, more and more walkers to the to the horde. Um, what did you guys think of that scene? I'll tell you what I thought about it real quick. D- d- damn, there's a lot of walkers around. Yeah, because here's here's my thing. They had a whole horde. That they've been mm-hmm. gathering for a long time, and now I mean, look, it's they're gonna do what they gotta do to get what they yeah. need in the show, right? But still, it's like, where the hell did all those walkers come from? I mean, maybe it's a part because I think there were, I think there were 
like um, whispers within the group that were looking at him. Possibly, I didn't notice that. I didn't. Think yeah, that that was I don't a remember thing if I he seen walks something. Out in the middle of it, and yeah. I was looking. I was looking, and I was looking to see, but I, I didn't notice unless some. Well, if any, if any way, I mean, they're just going to add to the herd that he's going to unleash. So I thought that scene was actually, I thought it was great. One of my favorite scenes of the of yeah. the episode, um, him standing away, and you can get that feel that he was he was taken back to maybe his days when he was performing and and concerts with all these people. Um, below him and and um, not necessarily cheering but just making you know their walker noises so I, yeah I really did enjoy that uh, that scene I thought it was done great and um, yeah we got a lot about beta we got a lot about beta and who he was and so now so he's I, a new and, alpha um, yeah so we got a question yeah. from Matt V uh, he yeah. says do you agree just going now with you know to the other side of things do you agree with Carol's plan you know to work with Negan to do this thing do you, do you agree with it uh, so obviously in the beginning of the episode, we see the, the beginning and to the yeah. fruition. So I don't know. What did you think about that? Uh, listen, I, I mean, I really enjoy seeing these characters interact with each other that we never really seen for a long time, especially right. the, even the Daryl stuff in this episode. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, I mean, I think we, we've been talking about this a lot, how Carol has, has been going on her own and she's been kind of going rogue with a lot of the way she's um, handled alpha uh, mm -hmm. after Henry. Look at what she, she got Magna and, and Connie trapped. We still know what's going on with Connie. She's always off on her own little excursion. She chases them into the um, cave itself. Mm -hmm. When she chases after alpha, she couldn't control herself. So, um, uh, you know, I do like this badass side of Carol. I always hate when she's battling and fighting with herself right and we see that even in the end of this you know we see how she walks away and she tells negan like i gotta deal with my shit and she's having her well that was freaking visions. annoying that was my yeah that's like one of my it's, things it's, man yeah it's it's like a lot of the same with carol i like when she's one or the other i don't like where she's battling herself or it doesn't want to fight anymore all this kind of stuff but to answer the question really um could she have done it maybe a different way um absolutely could she have let maybe Daryl in on it? Could she have let maybe somebody else in on this plan to make it um, not all on her shoulders when all is said and done? Right. Uh, um, she did put people in harm's way. Well, that was why she didn't tell anybody, and that's why she didn't tell Daryl. Daryl's already well, telling her, yeah. you have to stop. You got to stop this. You yeah. got to stop this. And and that's yeah. the most annoying part is that she went off on herself again. She's always yeah. getting herself in trouble, and not for nothing, but she deserves to have Alpha in her head. She deserves it. You know, yeah. because look at all the look at all the damage you've done to co to accomplish your goal. Now, she accomplished yeah. that goal. I like when she was like, "What took you so long?" And you know, yeah, and he's both like, of them, both of them said it. Yeah, right? and later on, so so I just want to address that real quick. I thought that was yeah. a really fun scene when he brings them up there, and then they get taken. You know, uh, they get surprised by the walkers. I mean, by the whispers, and he's like, "Oh, you're the new alpha." You know, the new alpha. I thought. I mean, you knew he was going to do that. You know. Yeah. Oh, and then the other guy splits. <laughs> yeah. I liked it. I thought it was a fun scene. You know, Negan is, you know, this is the new Negan. This is what he's about. And he's trying to prove to himself and he's trying to prove to Daryl. And I thought it was pretty cool. And he like, he's like, on Tommy asshole. Like it was just, I thought it was interesting. And then later on in the woods when they're sitting there right before they, you know, they take off and whatever. So, yeah. and as far as Carol's concerned, like I, I agree. I thought, I thought it was an interesting plan. You know, I mean, they, they had to do it, you know, that you had to, you had to have it happen somehow. Right. So, you know, yeah. it, it, they tied it together pretty well. You know, and I who, liked it. And who, I mean, I liked it too. And who knows if they would have been able to take Alpha out unless they did. They, you know, Carol's right. Yeah, started this this plan with the, with Negan. So, I mean, who knows? And one last point to like the whole Daryl Negan stuff when they were sitting on the lawn opposite each other. Yeah, it it almost reminded me of like Merle sitting there with Daryl. Yeah, you know, how they have this complex. It was a great talk. It was it was one of my favorites. Yeah, it was very. Here. And he passes Negan passes him the the the, the jug or the yeah. thermos or whatever the hell you want to call them. Um. So yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna see a lot more of these characters together that normally aren't with each other so yeah really cool stuff yeah uh da, 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 da. let's we'll stick with daryl i guess sure. um do you think this is from virginia k um do you think daryl will find rick uh will find out rick's alive in this next episode um i mean probably because it looks like if you've seen coming attractions it looks like you know i'm sorry if you don't like watching them spoilers but it looks like that him and and uh, uh judith are together so I yeah. would imagine that she's going to at some point 
tell him in the episode, you know, and yeah. you know, this is maybe, have you heard from your mom or, Hey, I heard from my mom and you know, and she's going to tell him. So yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes. I think so. Yeah, no, I, I agree. But I he's agree. got, he's got bigger things to worry about. That's something yeah, he's no, got, you know, like yeah, he can't we, do anything gonna, about it. Exactly. You know? We don't know how soon, um, beta is going to unleash on, excuse me, Alexandria. Um, I mean, also with Alexandria, at least we have Carol came back. You know what I mean? Um, she came back, yeah. Yeah, and Daryl's already there. So now we have like we have some fighters there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what goes on there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, da, 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 is that it? Do we do all of them? Oh well, no, I think you. Have. I got one more. Um, and um, it comes from Carlos C. It says, uh, uh, Carlos says, I'm not in f- I'm not as far in the comic, but how do you feel about the new character, the princess? Um. But before we get to that, let's talk about what led them, led us to meet her. In is that, mm-hmm. you know, Eugene is prompted by Rosita to tell everyone, so he does, yeah. and they go on a little, you know, Kimiko and 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 the and Ezekiel and uh, Eugene go on this little trek to go m- make this meeting. And I was, you know, I so I think you said you weren't as far in the comic either. No, I'm not as far. All right, yeah, because that's like. You, yeah, so I mean, I, I haven't finished the comic, but I got to the. I'm just, I'm not much further than where this takes place in the comic. But yeah, meeting the princess. Her name is Juanita Sanchez, and um, dude, that was fantastic. That was some of the best stuff that they did on this show. You know, the way little menageries that she set up. Yeah, that was like <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody I was watching um, another another channel. Um, I think it was Blind Wave or something, and they were laughing because um, they were like, "Did Kevin McAllister set these people up yeah, in the right. doors?" Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> it was almost like that Home Alone where the robbers show up and he has everybody on yeah. uh, walking around out. So it was kind of yeah, it was it was funny, and Ezekiel obviously had a laugh in that too. Good so. for him, you know. He's been, you know, he's he, you know, he's almost almost getting killed by the by the zombies and. His mm-hmm. horse ended up getting bit, apparently. Uh, and, yeah. You know, yeah, he's on this journey. And I thought, you know, Kimiko's speech was really, really cool. Yeah. You know, um, it's uh, it's also really nice to see Eleanor Matsura uh, doing little speeches, you know, getting to see her yeah. and do it again. You I know, wonder if, like, bad lands. No, one, no one ever asked her how, like, how'd you get here? She has this English accent, right? She's probably one of the only English actors that actually gets to use their British accent. Yeah. And it's like, no one ever said like, how the hell do you, you know, it would be cool if she was like, yeah, I was on a vacation. I got stuck. Like whenever, like how the hell this chick, you know, you know, I I think it's, I think it's, it's, you know, she came in with that small group of people, who've mm-hmm. been with us for a while now and you know i think i think nobody cares anymore i think it's just no i'm just saying every time i hear her speak i'm like well listen Maggie, uh andrew lincoln is is british and uh, right how they let her right because you know uh, she obviously can maggie has an american right? accent she used yeah. it in badlands right so yeah. yeah it's pretty interesting um <clears throat> but anyway yeah so back to the princess princess is yeah. really really cool um I guess I'll speak to it because I know a little more about her between the two of us. You know, she's 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 zany. You could see what you know what she did. My favorite was the cop giving a ticket. That was fun. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so she's a really cool character, and I just wonder how crazy they're gonna go. I just really think. See, this is why the comic stands out is because they have these wacky things happen, like when Negan showed up, like the governor was crazy, and then Negan showed up, and then like, like they. It, they're able to take all this stuff and like like turn stuff on their head and, and give you these people. So the fact that there's this colorful person and it's really interesting because I'm thinking yeah. right before this episode aired this week, I was thinking the show for all the criticisms it has from you and I and whoever else, it's all just always in the same place and it always looks the same. There's nothing different. There's no color. There's no this. There's no that. Whatever, right? Now I'm like, oh man, when are they going to get to that? I'm like, I hope they get to that soon knowing that Eugene is supposed to go meet with uh, Stephanie, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and um, so, yeah, so the fact that they showed up and I saw that and I was like, yeah, all right, here she comes. So, yeah, you're going to see she's a, she's a really interesting character. She's really fun, like you said, and brings a little color and life into the show. Like, she's unflappable, you know what I mean? Like, I, I believe she's by f- herself. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I don't want to spoil anything, but she is by herself, I, at least from the comic she is. I don't, I don't see her not being by herself, but what's interesting is all right, here's a little spoiler. Right after the in the comic, right after they meet, our our group meets her, they get met by 
someone else. Now, I wonder if that's going to happen. It might because it was supposed to be the second to last episode. Like, So next week is the penultimate episode, and we're not yeah. going to get to see the finale. So I can imagine that that's what, they were, that's what would ha- have maybe well no now we're going to daryl and okay so we're not probably going to see her then oh man so we may not get to see princess and how that all plays out but i here's my prediction for the end of the season is we're going to end up seeing the commonwealth we're going to end up seeing uh maggie no oh well i maggie is maggie's gonna come in and save the day okay well if maggie is with the commonwealth it'll change obviously the way it goes in the comic but yeah we're gonna end up seeing that it's gonna this season's probably gonna end with the commonwealth yeah you know and um you know they they've set up some things now so i i, I don't know they've set up some things where yeah. is the commonwealth going to come and help them fight alpha i mean you know well, we'll call him alpha now because he's the new alpha right so we'll call him alpha balfa we'll call him balfa like you said <laughs> so we'll call him balfa right and um, yeah yeah i don't know um but that's it that's all i got so yeah uh, last lastly for me is i it was kind of cool to see like another city again like we haven't seen like a big city in a long time since like atlanta yeah um Mm -hmm. and and seeing eugene yumiko and and uh, ezekiel walking up just as rick did on horseback excuse me i um, keep saying kimiko why do i keep is it yumiko it's yumiko or kimiko yumiko you say oh did you why am i saying kimiko where's kimiko from i gotta look that up is that um kimiko wasn't that um uh was that the terror oh yes (laughs) yeah it might have been the terror it was (laughs) yumiko yeah Yeah. my bad i got my shows mixed up (laughs) hey it's amc it's uh, yeah yeah so it was cool to see that that scene of them walking up um into another city and and um i'm kind of interested in seeing what's going to go on with the princess myself uh it's kind of crazy how she's in this vibrant pink bright pink and it's clean um i don't necessarily think that that unless she has a washing machine and plenty of tide i don't see how that thing can stay so clean unless her hands aren't getting too dirty um yeah. and she's kind of just hanging out in the city like this but uh yeah it's funny to see always black clothes and people wearing black or dark dark colored clothing and then this chick is wearing yeah this, did you vibrant fluffy pink dude speaking of which did you ever see the key and peel sketch where it's like the last man in the apocalypse and peel is walking around he's got like goggles and a sniper rifle and he's walking through a desolated city and it's all burned down and everything and he just sees this one dude who looks like um he's from party rock and he's like he just looks like he's wearing all this colorful stuff and he's got a he's got like all this silly stuff, he's riding like a little scooter around, and he's got a uh, a mannequin, a naked mannequin. Mannequin. He's got he's got this whole little area in front of like a big building. He's just out in the open. He's like woohoo, woohoo, right? And he's going crazy, <laughs> right? And 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 the, and Peel's like, what the hell? And and he notices them, and he's like, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, and then he just gets shot in the head, and the guy just turns around. He's like, because <laughs> in the beginning of the sketch, he's like, I'm the last man alive, and blah blah. And he sees this guy, and he's like, nope. And he shoots him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just takes off and again he repeats, I'm just the last man alive. Dude, it's so funny. And it's just like I'll always yeah. remember that. So that's what that reminded me of. It's like this wacky mm. person in the middle of all this death and decay. And she's just like, Yeah. yeah. That's funny. I gotta look at it. I, I'll send you the link. Really I'll link watched, it. Yeah. The only thing I really watched when they did like their um they did like the football draft. Oh yeah, they and just like, keep going and going games. and going. Yeah, it's funny, yeah. man. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's like them going back and forth in many different characters and yeah. and saying where their, where their college is and stuff. It was pretty funny. So I, I got to check that out. All right, guys. It looks like we got through everything we needed to. Thank yep. you all for the questions, of course, again. Um, I mean, we got so many this time again. Uh, we really appreciate that stuff. Uh, if you're not a fan, uh, if you're not um, uh liked if you didn't join our page i guess we can say our, our facebook the walking dead group um the links are below and yep. for westworld also i believe chris you yep. put them below yep. so join in you can put your put your questions in the comment section before each um episode we always post get your questions in and we'll try to get to as many as we can so we'd love to read yours and answer your questions check us out at third person on all the social media outlets there um and it's very easy to find us so uh yeah again uh, thank you all we love doing these q a videos and yeah. um it's something to kind of bite a little bit of this time of everybody just sitting home and trying to stay away from one another 
uh, so you can binge watch third person all you want. <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll take it. Like those, uh, hit that like button, hit those uh, subscri- subscribe buttons. Uh, we really appreciate that. It gets yep. our videos out more to more people if you do that. Uh, so we would really appreciate that. That's right. Thank you very much. We love you guys. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And we'll see you next week. Peace.